So I've been uh, diagnosed with, uh, can I say the illness or yeah, is that okay? Sure. Yes, absolutely. Okay. I've been diagnosed with multiple sclerosis for um, almost 40 years. Mm. Um, and uh, I've experienced uh, the whole gamut of the symptoms from being blind and not being able to walk or walking with a walker or uh, I've had seizures before and um, uh, just a number of things. I have a lot of uh, numbness. I've had a lot of numbness um, and vertigo for the last 10 years and uh, my laundry list. <laughs> so um, let's see, uh, that was before the patches. And then about uh, two years ago, I had a really massive flare and I did the first steroid treatment I had done in like 10 years. And um, it didn't resolve it all the way. And uh, so I was left with like um, neuropathy and synesthesia and <clears throat> like numbness, pins and needles, bee stings feeling like in my fingers and my feet, my lower legs. And um, so let's see what else. Uh, I'm trying to think of anything else that would be relevant. Um, now, the some of the bee sting feelings that you were getting were coming Basically, yeah, it was coming from a lot from whenever I touch like my computer or my phone. Mm -hmm. um, I've had like a really like huge sensitivity to EMF okay. for almost 10 years. And um, the first time was I went blind actually from uh, the Wi-Fi in the apartment building I was living in. Wow. And um, that was like a long time ago. <laughs> and uh, so... Yeah, so I have like a lot of sensitivity to EMF. I still have in our house we have why we have 5G, I'm pretty sure. And it's uh it's really intense, like all the time. We have like things to like stop it and mitigate it and all that, and nothing works. So I mean it makes it a little bit less, but it's not not enough. So then so, you were yeah. introduced to the patch. And then I was introduced to the patch and um within 24 hours, uh my mom and I, my mom also has um she has a uh, stage four breast cancer. And so I've been kind of pacing with her doing a lot of the same things she does. So I can kind of troubleshoot, um, I don't know, and help her like deal with the symptoms of how she detoxes and stuff. And so um, anyway, we've been tracking our pH for the last couple of months. And uh, um, so before the, uh, before the patch, I know that my, my pH was at 6.25, like pretty much all the time. I was like below baseline. And I, it was like really frustrating because I couldn't get it above baseline and then, um, or above like a balanced pH. Mm -hmm. And, uh, so then immediately within 24 hours of putting the X39 on, uh, my pH was 7.25 and it has been every day since then. So yeah, and, you, and your mother was testing also her pH yes. and her yeah. pH was nine. And, um, so as within 24 hours of putting the patch on, it was 7.25. And then here you are introduced to the patch. And I'm assuming with your mother as well, with her breast cancer that you're using all natural modalities. She is, well, I'm using all natural. Yes. Okay. Uh, she is. Uh, she's doing some medication um, to help with her hormones. Um, and she's kind of going on and off. She she took a break from all of it for about a month. And um, her numbers since uh, going on the X39 have, um, all of her numbers have improved. Like all of her numbers, she gets her blood tested once a month. And every, once every two weeks and once to once a month. And she, all of her, all of her blood numbers have been significantly improved. So what else are you experiencing yourself? Cause I didn't, did you say how long you've been on the patch? Um, just about, uh, maybe three weeks, three weeks. Okay. Yeah. So what else have you experienced since then? So for the last couple of months, um, about two or three months ago, I developed this, um, lump in my underarm. And, uh, it's about the size of a golf ball and, um, and it was, and it had two little lumps on top of it, which were like the lymph nodes. Right. And mm -hmm. so, um, so it's been slowly improving and I've been trying like a lot of things to like help reduce it. Um, but nothing really has worked. 
uh, it would like go away a little bit and come back the next morning, go away a little bit and come back the next morning. It's like part of my detox process of like filling up and emptying. I was doing the X39 for about three weeks. And then I started doing the Aon, the X49 and glutathione. So I started with the X49 um, one day and it didn't resolve it. Mm -hmm. um, and then I tried the Aon and the Aon in 24 hours, that, go that um, golf ball sized lump was gone. Just the two little lymph nodes were left. So wow. yeah, a little bit less, uh, the, my vertigo, I've had vertigo for about 10 years and that I've, that has lightened. And mm -hmm. also the, um, I've had uh, the numbness in my fingers has lightened the numbness in my fingers, um, not as much in my feet yet, but um, very helpful.